Good evening and welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and let's look into today's reports. Chondroitin sulfate, a reliable treatment for diabetic osteoporosis. Diabetic osteoporosis belongs to secondary osteoporosis which is caused by diabetes. It has the characteristics of high morbidity and even high disability. People with type 1 diabetes often show poorer bone quality and an increased risk of fractures. A new study in China has revealed that chondroitin sulfate could prevent streptozotocin induced diabetic osteoporosis and even repair the bone microstructure. The main mechanism is through regulating the bone metabolism, antioxidation and even anti-inflammatory. The findings of the study published in the Frontiers in Endocrinology indicate that chondroitin sulfate could be used for the development of anti-diabetic osteoporosis functional foods and even dietary interventions for diabetes patients. Postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome related to small bowel hypocontractility pattern. Postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome is an autosomal disorder that affects multiple organs including even the gastrointestinal symptom. These patients often have complaints of multiple GI problems with a severe impact on their quality of life. A study published in the Digestive Diseases and Sciences has revealed that motility problems in postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, abbreviated as POTS patients, appear to impact mostly the small intestine and demonstrates a general hypocontractility pattern. In individual with POTS and GI symptoms, a wireless motility capsule might possibly aid in guiding the treatment. The study's findings offer novel as well as essential insights into the link between POTS as well as impaired gastrointestinal motility. Vitamin D involvement in cognition of multiple sclerosis in the past decades, cognitive impairment that is CI was underestimated in multiple sclerosis patients and thought appears only in primary progressive as well as secondary progressive disease stages. Now studies on vitamin D supplementation so far have not included cognitive evaluation per se, although they have already been linked. A recent study in brain science proved that the hypothesis that vitamin D is involved in the cognition of multiple sclerosis. This vitamin reduces the CNS inflammation and also promotes the neuronal survival, suggesting that inadequate vitamin D levels could affect the neuroaxial integrity and the immune system, contributing to short-term effects on cellular homeostasis as well as long-term effects on neuronal loss. These processes in individuals with multiple sclerosis consequently may reflect the slowed information processing speed upon on diagnosis which may influence their quality of life. New anti-diabetic treatment approved for human trials. Now a new anti-diabetic compound derived which is Montbreton A from a garden flower has been approved by Health Canada for phase 1 human trials. Food is usually digested by the alpha amylase enzyme that breaks down the starch from foods such as rice and bread into complex sugars called oligosaccharides. The natural compound called Montbreton A works by inhibiting the enzyme alpha amylase. Now, when Montbreton A inhibits the alpha amylase enzyme, starch doesn't break down immediately and instead travels down into the lower gut. Researchers anticipate that the compound could be used to develop a treatment with fewer side effects than other options currently available to those with type 2 diabetes. Vitamin D can boost your heart health. Previous studies have shown low vitamin D to be associated with high cardiovascular disease risk. But recently, a study published in the European Heart Journal has found that vitamin D deficiency can increase the risk of cardiovascular diseases. The authors of this study suggest that the cardiovascular disease burden can be reduced by population-wide correction of the low vitamin D status, which is quite common and predominant. In simpler words, people with vitamin D deficiency are more likely to suffer from heart disease and higher blood pressure than those with normal levels of vitamin D. That's all for today. I shall see you tomorrow. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.